What's up everybody? It's August 4th, 2022 in Big Bear, California. We're in the Moon Ridge area and it's been raining for a good 30 minutes now, 20, 30 minutes, but um, yeah, this is what I do. You know, anytime we get a change in weather like this, I'm always, always recording for you guys and for myself. Um, but yeah, so let's do a short little drive and I'll post a cut. I'll patch a couple of the videos together throughout the day just so we can have kind of like footage of the whole day type thing instead of just a little bit as you guys know what I do in the winter time like I'll go out for the snowstorm and then once it stops snowing like I don't record but if it starts again I'm right back out so some days it'll be five or six seven videos so but yeah today I'm hoping to patch a bunch of these videos together and uh, all right there and there's there's the mountains over there it's hard to see but it's such it's so pretty up here it is so pretty up here so yeah, I just decided to park here for a quick second and just, uh, I don't know, it's just peaceful and calm. Let's see, you know what, I'm going to turn around. I'm good. I'm totally good. Backing up. All right. Sorry guys, I'm distracted by my driving here. Do the old five point turn, gotta love those. All right, so yeah, you know what? I think since it's not gonna pick up anymore right now, I think I'm gonna have to stop the video and, uh, and we'll go ahead and resume soon. I love you guys, bye. Hey, what's up you guys? August 4, 2022. This is the second video here, or second portion. I just heard some thunder, so we're driving down from Sugarloaf. We're gonna head back to Moon Ridge. But I just thought you guys might want to see what's going on up here. It looks like in about an hour we've got some se severe, severe stuff coming. During the other storms we had the other day, one of my friend's houses flooded. Poor guy. Poor guy. I think we're going to get lightning right over there, honestly, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, sorry about that, you guys. big just really intense coming through shortly I really really hope that they stay on track because it's gonna be epic it looks like it'll be so bad that these trees will be blowing like crazy and I'm super excited about it hello everybody hope everybody's doing well um, yeah just enjoying Big Bear and the weather like I always do spending a lot of time with my wife it's cool. She goes with me to work and I go with her to work and it's just it's just awesome. She's, she's such a wonderful person. Can't wait for you guys to meet her. As I said, she's super shy. But we're easing her way in. So we're not getting anything right now. I thought we might see some lightning, so I'm gonna shut it down for right now. But once it starts picking up, I will add some more. Peace, guys. All right, you guys, well, this is just a couple minutes after I shut it off. We're starting to get some rain as we cross Division Road into Big Bear Lake. And I'm thinking, because I've been getting a, a bunch of notifications about lightning strikes within five or six miles of where I was. And the way the sky looks over here, this is where I'm, I'm thinking, but we'll see. You guys, this is great. Like. For those of you who don't know, this lake has been filled up from being just about this low in the summertime before, so um, I'm hoping this next week could possibly do that. It's not going to take that much, you guys. People think because it's like 16 feet low, you need 16 feet of rain. We only need like like inches of heavy, heavy, heavy rain um, to just overwhelm it, but we need a few of those storms, and yeah, we could have that lake full in a heartbeat because a lot of the excess water will run off from all, all, all these mountains on the edges down into the lake and will be full. As I said, this lake has been filled up in the summertime because of weather like this from being super low. 
And this is a pattern up here, you guys, about every eight or 10 years, it's a super drought for the lake and it gets super low. It's, it's been even lower than this, where like you can literally walk across parts of it to fawn skin. It's not that low right now, but it's been that low. But yeah, if you, if you look at these graphs that have been made about the lake, it's about every seven to 10 years, it's a, a severe drought and then it, 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 it gets full again. And then it goes a, a long time without much precipitation and it gets low again and then we get hammered and then it gets full again. So it's, I'm really hoping we're in the process of filling up. I mean, that's what it seems like. Well, anyway, I'm gonna shut this down now. Love you guys, peace. I'll turn it on soon when we get some more. All right, you guys, it's a couple hours later. We're in Big Red Lake area of town now and we are just uh, headed towards the village in that area. But I wanted to point something out that's very, very different. Usually when it's cloudy like this and we're getting rain and weather like this, usually this is winter time. We, we, we usually don't get fully engulfed with clouds during our monsoon season. There will be blue skies everywhere, everywhere around us. We'll just get big thunder cells that, roll, that just rumble through. But yeah, we're starting to get some more drizzles, so I thought I would, you know, show you guys some drizzle. It's drizzle. I'm so excited about drizzle. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> Look at that, that little peekaboo, peekaboo view of the lake right there to the left of this truck. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. I'm so happy to live here. So lucky to live here, I should say. So we're gonna shut this video off right now. Peace out, you guys. Once it starts picking up, we will update, I promise. I've had to do a ton of sandbags for my wife's house today. These are like 75 pound bags and we did a ton of them. I'm telling you, I love being being married and being able to take care of somebody. And yeah, I don't, I'm not like the manliest guy when it comes to like fixing things and stuff, but with all due respect, I just pay people like, I don't have time. And my dad never, like, we never built cars. Like, I like I wished later on in life that we did stuff like that. But, like, we had season tickets to all the best sporting events. So we were always doing sports stuff my whole life. We never did an oil change on a car or this and that. Like, so I don't know too much about that stuff. But fortunately, I'm able to pay for that stuff. So, And I'm also helping other people who have jobs, you know. shut it off now for a few minutes until it gets heavy. All right, guys, the rain is starting to come down pretty good. It looks like on the radar, we've got some really intense stuff coming soon. Not quite as heavy as it was supposed to be, but that could change any moment now. So we'll see. But yeah, it should get a, bunch, a lot heavier than this. Keep your fingers crossed. We need this to impact the lake. Talk to you guys soon. Hey, what's up, you guys? Just wanted to let you know, obviously, the big, huge storms didn't happen. Typical for up here. The forecast is tough up here and uh they get it way more wrong than right we've had this this drizzle that you guys have seen all day long so forgive me i didn't mean to get you guys excited but we do have another whole week full of thunderstorms so hopefully everything pans out good night everybody talk to you later